Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and I want to talk to you today about network cabling. What's the difference between plenum cable and non-plenum cable? And when should I use plenum cable? When should I use non-plenum cable? Well, first of all, plenum cable is really a rating. Um, it has to be plenum rated to be a plenum cable. Now, they're both used for network uh, connectivity, usually from a server to a, a patch panel or a patch panel to a PC or something like that. There is slight difference in it. This is the uh, type of cable that you've seen me working with before in making patch cables. And it has four twisted pair of a certain color code. But if you can see, let's yeah, see if I can get this over here somewhere where you can maybe see it. Uh, I don't know if you can. Well, maybe right about there. The conductors, there's multiple multiple strands of conductors. They're very, a lot of teeny tiny little wires. Okay. Now a plenum cable. Here's an example. Let's see if I can get it around. Uh, maybe back here where you can see it. It has the same color coding, same twisted pair, uh, but the conductor on it is solid. It's just one piece of uh, copper that's uh, quite a bit bigger. You'll also see that they have a little uh, nylon string in here and that's to add strength to the cable as it's being pulled through um, walls or over duct work or um, things like over the, in a ceiling or something like that. So plenum cable is a little tougher. Now there's another couple more differences. Uh, plenum cable is has a higher fire rating. Well, okay, why do I need plenum cable? Well, plenum cable, the specification is fairly in depth. But if you just think like this, anywhere that is above a living area or a drop ceiling. This is a this is a drop ceiling here. Okay. Pretty typical in a lot of uh, business environments. And in that type of scenario situation, you need plenum cable. That's usually a requirement of your fire code because this uh, insulation has a different fire rating than the non-plenum cable. Plenum cable is usually stiffer and less uh, elastic. Now, if you look here, I'm going to take this uh, plenum cable and let me bend it down here like this. Okay, and I'm going to let go. <coughs> and you can see it keeps that bend. And I don't know if you can also see, but the color of the uh, insul uh, outer insulation is changed. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with a non-plenum cable. Okay, I'll take this and I'll bend it down. I'll do the same thing here. Okay, let go. And look at there, it's trying to straighten itself out. There is a little bit of uh, color distortion here, but this is much more flexible. Now these cables, the non-plenum rated cables, because they're not above a suspended ceiling, they're in the area where we live, these are perfectly acceptable. They're a little bit less expensive than the plenum rated cable, and they're a whole lot easier to work with. So if you are uh, running your network cable in a wall, in a ceiling, um, anywhere, you know, in the along roof line, you probably need this one, plenum rated, uh, if you can avoid it where it is legal, use the non plenum rated, especially if you are trying to put on RJ45 connectors, you will find this flexibility and the uh, stranded ends to be much more uh, user friendly. Okay, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. AF5DN.